Coming to you from the top of the Poconos, it's the Balcony Show with your host Ann Thatcher, Bo Summer, and me, the Mad Cat. We have searched the globe for the best in indie music, so you don't have to. So here we go, the Balcony Show. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Balcony Show is in the house this week. We've got a huge show cool rock and roll, some fun other little side things. Um, oh, and by the way, this is Bo Summer. We've got uh, some of the Balcony Show crew doing things, different things. We're kind of switching it up this week. Mad Cat, again, is nowhere to be found. Um, actually, he's prowling the Northeast somewhere. He'll be back on the next show, maybe in like two or three weeks. But anyway, Donna, how are you? I'm doing good, Bo. Good to how are see you? you. Very good, very good. Um, well... We're not going to get into too much detail right now other than uh, letting everybody know and letting our listeners know we've got some kick-ass rock and roll coming your way. We've got Voodoo Moonshine coming up. Uh, we'll be talking to one of the members yeah. of that band. And coming up next, uh, we're going to go on location because Anne has got the Balcony Bulletin. The Balcony Bulletin. Yeah. Looking forward to hearing what Anne has to say. Hmm. Well, there's always kind of funky, weird stuff going on in the world, and we know she's good at finding <laughs> she it. Will so, find it. <laughs> <laughs> so sit back, as Mad Cat always tells us. And um, well, you don't have to sit back. Actually, you he tells us up. not to. Yeah. So whatever. <laughs> Lie anyway, down, stand up. Yeah, do Mad Cat. You want. Sorry if your, your ears are ringing. But anyway, we've got uh, some cool things that we want to uh, share with our listeners. So, Anne, take it away. In today's balcony bulletin. Scientists discover bizarre contributor to greenhouse emissions. Tree farts. Now you'll always have something else to blame when you let one rip. For example, methane from cow farts is one of the most significant greenhouse gas con contributors. But it's not just cows that squeeze out harmful emanations. Apparently, trees can do it too. Researchers have found that tree farts are a minor but nonetheless notable contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. Those whole, the whole, this whole thing gets even weirder when they tell you that the farting trees are no longer alive. Indeed, living trees don't too. Instead, they bind carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through photosynthesis. But when trees die, things get spooky. Ghost forests, masses of dead trees can no longer take up carbon dioxide and they turn into gas emitters instead. And according to the study, about 20% of those gases are from tree farts, at least in North Carolina. And that's it. Ann Thatcher with the Balcony Bulletin. Whew, that was tough getting back here from North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of breath, Ann. <laughs> yeah, we're glad you made it back. <laughs> <laughs> so tree farts, who knew? I certainly did not know this. <laughs> Did you both? I'm. I'll never I, look at a dead tree the same. No. I won't either. <laughs> All right. Question of the day: You going to go over and take a sniff? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, but I don't want to be down dead wind from a dirty. You know what I mean? Icky tree. Yeah. From an icky tree. Yeah. Uh, they're. Don't be taking my oxygen. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're gonna get things started with a song. From 10 Ton Mojo. You're going to love this. This is a rock, rock show. And this is a kick-ass rock first song, Bad Love. Take a listen. <laughs>
everybody. Welcome back to The Balcony Show. And we have a great interview coming up with Voodoo Moonshine. And we're going to hear a song from that band called Locked and Loaded. And when you get back, we will be on the phone with Jeff. So, as Mad Cat would say, sit down, (laughs) relax. And stand up. Say, stand up to whatever the heck you want. Tell us, <laughs> <laughs> Do a cartwheel and listen yeah. to Locked and Loaded. Here That's we go. It. We are very excited because we have Jeff LaSawyer on the phone from Voodoo Moonshine. And Voodoo Moonshine is a band that you're going to want to know. They are in an incredible rock band. They are bringing it. They're bringing it hard. They're bringing it clean. And I guarantee you, you're going to want to... You're going to want to follow and like their stuff. So without any further ado, welcome, Jeff. Hey, how you doing? I'm glad you got me here. I appreciate you. <laughs> we are very excited because this it's 
it's like kind of crazy, Jeff, because hearing you on the phone and your music, it's it's a contrast. You know, you're kind of like uh, kind of laid back, and and I know that's not <laughs> what happened on the stage because this yeah, music you know. is it, wow. It's crazy to think that you have such a soaring range. Yeah, and then you, you know you you very you're very down here when you're talking. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, well, that, no, I'm not I'm not that guy singing. You got the wrong guy. I'm just the guitar player. I'm not anyone important. I'm just the guy that wrote the songs. Oh, right on. Well, that's important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you yeah, can no, talk. Pedro, ab- Pedro's the one that's got the uh, the steel heart voice. I uh, I can kind of find my way in between, but definitely can't hit the high notes. So you wrote "Locked and Loaded." Yeah, yeah. That that was actually on on our first album. You know, uh, back in 2003 when I when I started the band. And uh, it was a fluke that it ended up on on this album. But, yeah, I actually wrote uh, this CD and recorded it God, back in 2011 and kind of shelved it. And uh, then a lot of um, a lot of strange things started happening in the last three or four years. I was getting messages from some producers and management and I thought well hell I guess I gotta start a band up again <laughs> because I, <laughs> I had pretty much shelved it you know and I was just you know I thought I was done with the CD and uh, so the how time, did you I get had, this uh, together how did you bring this band <clears throat> together um Voodoo Moonshine was that your creation then was that yeah yeah I started the band back in 2003 out in uh in Memphis and, uh, you know, we put out our first album in 2005 and we were really busy for uh, until about 2008 and, uh, you know, touring all over the world. And uh, I got tired. <laughs> My fa- I had some family members and some <clears throat> friends, you know, that had gotten ill. And I oh, went wow. back to Oklahoma and, you know, to to deal with them and to t- kind of take a break. And, uh, that break lasted about two years. And, um, so at that time I did a solo album and, uh, started writing again. I thought, well, hell, I um, called my guys and said, well, I'm going to come back to Memphis. We need to record. Uh, and I was in 2011 and we finished the album and, uh, I pretty much shelved it. I didn't do anything with it uh, up until, like I said, I randomly got some messages about three years ago from some well-known producers and management. And um, I thought, well, man, I need to get the band together. And, you know, when you take a 10-year break, guys don't wait around. Right. So our drummer had moved on and was playing with Every Mother's Nightmare and uh, the singer I had. Uh, who was in Voodoo 6 in England, uh, he's become a producer. So I had to, you know, pretty much start a From band scratch? Over again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, that's where I got, I, I got online and was just, you know, watching videos and stuff. And I come across Pedro on YouTube uh, doing some, you know, little karaoke stuff in his studio and, and I thought, oh, this is some nonsense, man. That dude sounds perfect. I said, and then in the studio, you know, everyone sounds fantastic. Sure. So I found some live videos of his cover band. And, uh, you know, the, the first video I seen him doing or song I seen him doing was uh, Steelheart. And, um, you know, that's hard to pull off. Yeah, yeah. Well, I seen that live video when they were doing uh, Everyone Loves Eileen by Steelheart live and just pitch perfect. And I'm like, holy hell. So I got in touch with him, you know, and he blew me off for a couple of months, you know, because I was just some random dude on, you know, Facebook messaging him. <laughs> and uh, so finally he, you know, he listened to the songs and I told him, I'm like, look, you know, you just redo them how you want. You know, I had I had the full album's worth I had plus songs, you know, and, um, and so he did, uh, you know, he sent me a couple of songs back. And, uh, well, I'm certainly glad go. you made it happen, because yeah, wow, yeah, I was a pain in his ass. Yeah, I was, I was an annoyance <laughs> to him. Well, you know. Cheers to you being a pain in the ass, bro. Because let me yeah. tell you, I've, I've been waiting to hear a vibe like this for a long time. 
Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I was, I was, well, I've never been worried because I'm too old to give a shit, to be honest with you, <laughs> about what's going on in the music, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so everything I do and we do is self serving. You know, we look at it. it we're not 18 anymore. We're not chasing the dream and what's happening and hot and hip, you know? And I thought, well, and you know how it was after Nirvana. It's like, you know, if you did a guitar solo, yeah, yeah, the guitar solos don't exist and we don't want a singer that can sing really well. And, you know, so, and if you got that, then, well, oh, you're just an eighties throwback band. And, you know, I was concerned about it for a second. And then I thought, Hey, I don't care, you know, because, to, to me, you know, some of the best musicians come out of the 80s. Yes, they absolutely um, did. Yeah, and, you know who we just thought, uh, we just uh, had uh, Mike Reno on from Loverboy. We just oh, spoke yeah. with him, and we were just talking about this, you know, that there was a period of time when, you know, that music was, it, you were rocking and feeling good, and I miss that. I miss feeling good about music and having it, well, you know... I, yeah, I mean, if I want to be depressed, I'll watch the news. You know, I, mean, sure. I don't, I don't need to hear all this bullshit and music. I, that's the reason you listen to it. I yeah, mean, to you get away it from it. Car, you, right? You know, it's an escape. And mm-hmm. and you know, come on. I mean, we're not creating genius stuff here when I'm writing songs about sex. But there's things that everyone can relate to. That's love, sex, death, and and you know, being pissed right. off about something in life. So. You know, you want to kind of make it happy and fun. Um, So we just did what we wanted. And it's just going to continue that way. And none of this release and none of this album has laid out the way that would normally happen. You know, the the video layouts, the next single. And every time we plan something, it's a fluke. Something happens and then we have to go with something else. And that turns out better than what our original plan was. So... The, the goal right now is just let things happen, you know, and we've it's it's pretty amazing. You know, we we with this single, Bring It Down, you know, we've finally hit Billboard and I think we've peaked at like 205. And we're yeah, but you made it, man. Charts. Well, yeah, you know, and there was an expectation of it. Really, I mean, there was no thought of that whatsoever. There was no thought of, you know, all these interviews and reviews all over the world. Well, maybe that's the secret, that when you are truly just doing what you love, that 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 Mm -hmm. resounds, kind of like maybe the universe picks that up and says, you know what, this is real, you know? Well, if I would have known not giving a crap... If I would (laughs) have known not giving a crap, work... So, listen, we're going to take a break and let our listeners hear... Bring It Down by Voodoo Moonshine, and we'll be right back with the rest of the interview.
are back on the Balcony Show, and that was Bring It Down by Voodoo Moonshine. Man, I got to tell you, when I, I don't, I don't know what I was expecting. I, I really don't. And when you know, when I sat there, uh, the the first song I played was Locked and Loaded, and then I ran right into to Bring It Down, and I'm just like, man, I really have been missing this freaking vibe. You know, it's been too long to hear that somebody out there is still, you know, able able to do something, you know, with that with that style. You know, and just make it work. You know, I've I've you heard know, others attempt, and it just doesn't work. And this one hundred percent completely works. It is phenomenal. So, well, you know what's weird? Thanks, man. You know what's weird is that you know when when we do interviews or any reviews that have come out with this album, you know, every comparison is something different. Some other band that, you know, like Buck Cherry was the last uh, comparison. Yeah. You know, and then we hear Tesla and all these other things. And I'm fine with any of it as long as it's not a suck band. You know, I mean, <laughs> right, right. you know but what, Jeff? I got I, a I, feeling that you're really funny. Yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> or moody. You talk to my guys. They may, they may disagree with you. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. When I'm working. I love I love a dry sense of humor. And you definitely, you're the, you're the one that'll point something out. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, it's 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 uh, it happens <laughs> yeah. when I'm not under stress. I think you're perpetrating a fraud, Jeff. I really do. <laughs> yeah, well, now you're talking like my ex-wife. <laughs> oh Hell no, yeah. that's not good. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Talk about <laughs> compared to things that suck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. That's a yeah, hashtag no, suck uh, band. I like that. Yeah. No, really. <laughs> Well, bring it down. You know, we we released that before we just uh, signed with Dark Star. We released that. This is how you know. I was talking about nothing is falling in place like we plan. Um, you know, so we released that single, God, a year ago on our own, and um, well, we had filmed the video for Locked and Loaded, and I'm like, you know, once again. My guys live in Florida. I'm in Georgia. So every time we get together, I try to cram as much stuff together as possible. Photo sure. shoots, video right. shoots, blah, 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 whatever. So we shot Locked and Loaded and Bring It Down. Well, Bring It Down was going to be the next single. Well, guess what? The video production company did not get the first five seconds of Pedro singing. There was oh. nothing we could do to edit it. Oh. So I'm like, we can't use it. We couldn't use none of it. So we'll go ahead and put out Locked and Loaded. We put out Locked and Loaded, and it charted all over the place. So we rode that out for about a year, and now we're getting back. <laughs> so, we, so, so then we shoot at videos again. So we a year later, plus I had to fire a couple of guys, a drummer or a bass player and a guitarist. So all that footage from Locked and uh, from Bring It Down, we had to redo the whole thing anyway. So, so we come back and we shoot Bring It Down, and then our next video that'll be out in May. Um, and then release, bring it down. So nothing's going on as far as scheduling goes. You know, I, I get these ideas and plans. Sounds and like you're hurting cats, Jeff. That way. Sounds Pretty like much. you're hurting cats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely it. Which is that's really a unique statement you made because I got like five <laughs> cats. I'm used to cats. I got five of them here at the house. So yeah, nice. it's definitely what I'm doing. So. You have what do you have coming up? And I know you've got this release. We're gonna hear the last song from you tonight is "What a Way to Go." But what are you? Yes. Are you gonna be performing out at all? What do you got going on? Well, um, like I said, we just uh, <clears throat> worked up a deal with uh, Ten Thirteen Booking uh, up in Minnesota, so they're working on some shows for us. Um, we do have one scheduled in August. We. For the last five months, we have not focused on anything other than getting this CD out and these videos and singles ready, um, <clears throat> and then writing new songs, of course. So I'm trying to stay ahead of the curve, which is why we do two videos at a time and release, you know, three or four months later. Right. But uh, so that's all we had been focusing on. We did five festivals at the end of the year. Hadn't really booked any shows until this. We, we just did our CD release show in florida on february 18th well congratulations we for that yeah it went really well i couldn't believe it bottom uh, of the it, barrel it, yes Go get it, it. It, it did really well yeah we we 
actually sold out a couple of times with the label and had to send them more stuff. So that's always a good thing. Hell yeah. Um, oh, I can see why. Absolutely why. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, listen, Jeff, I yeah. want to thank you so much for spending some time with us here on The Balcony Show. Uh, yeah, we're going to listen to me. the final song, cut, the final cut that we have from Bottom of the Barrel. I encourage our listeners to absolutely, you're going to want this song. So go to your streaming platform or go to their website, buy their merch, buy their stuff because you're absolutely in. Wh- where can they get your merch, Jeff? VoodooMoonshineRocks.com and anywhere else, Apple, iTunes, Spotify, I prefer you not, but. You know, yeah, direct. we feel the same way, like but a, we won't I'm say like it out loud. <laughs> buy direct. Yeah, I, yeah, I buy sound direct like I'm selling a right. mattress. No. <laughs> buy direct. Buy direct. But you can you can pick the CD up at Dark Star Records also. There you um, go. You know, and like I was going to say, we're going to be doing a suicide uh, uh, benefit show in August in Florida. So if you're around, come and check it out. Uh, all that information will be posted on Facebook and Instagram everywhere we're at. Okay. Well, again, thanks. And we're going to take a listen to What a Way to Go by Voodoo Moonshine.
Hey, this is Jeff Lasari of Voodoo Moonshine. You're listening to The Balcony Show. Crank it up. Mad Cats, Mad Tracks. Hey, thanks for tuning in for The Mad Tracks. Mad Cat is out on the lamb. He'll be back in a couple weeks. But in the meantime, we are holding down the fort. So we have a song by Blacklist Union called Evil Eye. So you're going to want to sit down, stand up, do a cartwheel, calisthenics. What else can you do? (laughs) Whatever you want. Whatever you want, but listen. talking about SoundCloud. You don't hear too much about SoundCloud, but they're out there. It's happening. And it's actually a very cool and very easy tool for beginner indie artists that just kind of getting their feet wet and kind of trying to navigate social media and different platforms. And um, I'm, I'm thinking SoundCloud, there are, it's still very usable. People are still using it. It doesn't seem like it's kind of in the news very much. Uh, but it's been around since 2007. It's free. The setup is simple. Um, add your bio, give access to your fans, some 
maybe private tracks, make it a little bit interesting, and take advantage of SoundCloud because it is a very cool beginner tool. And you heard it right here on Indie Radar. Thanks for that, Bo. I'd like to remind you at this time that The Balcony Show is proudly produced by Rock Hard Studios for all your musical production needs and more. Check them out at rockhardstudios.com. It's time for the spotlight portion of our show where we showcase debut singles and returning guests. And your host is Donna Gallucci. So, here we go. Hey everyone, welcome to Spotlight, and we have some great new music for you guys to hear. The Million Reasons. Yes. We had a million reasons. I have a million reasons. For a lot of things. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah, these guys are really making some stuff happen, and they just got signed, right, Donna? They were signed to a label, which is really interesting. They have a new album coming yes, out? Yes, they have their debut album because they did have an EP out and some singles and Right, now but they, they did get signed album. to a label. Yep, called and Haven is the name of the album. Right. That will be out on April 15th. Right, and then in the meantime... And actually they have a, a really cool uh, album release party happening on the 14th at Martyrs in Chicago. So if you're in so that Chicago... That really cool for those local Chicago peeps out there. Yeah, but you're going to want... If you're in that area, go see yeah. these guys because they're really good. And they're a lot of fun. They're a fun band. Yeah. So... Absolutely. And their new song is called Oh Tranquilizer. That's the one we're going to be showcasing today. Right. But they're... And they have a new video out with... Yes. Uh, in the um, Fire. Yeah. Well, for... Yes, the, this past week they premiered a new video for "If Not for the Fire." If not for the fire, really which was cool they were, video. yeah, that was one of the songs we played when they were on the show yes. earlier. But what they've done is they put out a couple singles, and now they're they're putting out they they got signed, so they went back in, and now they're putting out the right, whole album. Exactly. And I guess they're you know as long as there's money behind the. Yeah. The production, you get to be able to do some of these things, which exactly. is really good. Kudos to them for getting that, though. Yep. They work really hard. And I'm so. liking what I'm hearing from them. Really oh, good they're stuff. fantastic. Really good the stuff. lead singer is uh, another one Dynamite. off the chain. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And I know everyone out there will enjoy it, too. So congratulations, guys, on your new album, Haven. Yep. And, and here we go with The Million Reasons, O oh, Tranquilizer. Check it out. <laughs>
Welcome back to The Balcony Show, uh, this week's Voodoo Moonshine Show. A lot of rock and roll happening all around us on this one, isn't it? Yep. I love it. Anyway, coming up next, we've got a band called False Solutions, and the track is Cheap Heroin. Hmm. Cheap Heroin. Don't, don't try it. Don't buy it. Don't do it. Yeah, but the song's great. Yeah, song's cool. Rock and roll. Check it out. Well, it's the same time every day, but you're completely stuck to me. Totally drained. And every breath that I take is just to throw a bullet to the brain Got to watch the red head of time as you were my only friend Nicotine grin Over and over again More cheap heroin Some may say I'm wasting my days away I just can't let go it man today yeah I'm this is so stoked voodoo moonshine hella band yeah hella band yeah this is rock this is summertime this is this is what it's about this yeah. to me is party oh and <laughs> i think this summer after the last two years we are going to be party i agree <laughs> yes yeah Definite, a lot of cool concerts a lot of bands. a lot of concerts i wish we could actually go and see 
a lot of the artists that we so that we I. play on the show. Yeah. It's a shame that like we just you know don't have to work and we can just travel yeah. around the world and go see all these <laughs> bands play. <laughs> so if somebody wants a lot to... of them would be worth it. Uh, yeah, well, if somebody yeah. wants to sponsor us for that. I'm down. Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, just I travel the around the country and check all these yeah, bands out. Yeah. Contact us, thebalconyshow.com. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> But anyways, I want to thank you guys and thank uh, Jeff from Voodoo Moonshine for spending some time here on the show with us. And I look forward to, thanks for listening. Thanks for being a part. If you want more on The Balcony Show, go to our website, thebalconyshow.com. Also, give us a like if you like what we're doing. Help support the indie artists. Always buy the merch. And with that, I'm going to end things tonight with a song from Silk Nine, Find My Way. Say goodnight, folks. Good night. <laughs> Good folks. night. <laughs> Rock on, everyone. Good night, everybody from the Balcony Show. We'll catch you next week.
and that's what's up.